Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, and we're playing the infection. Inf infectious. It's getting worse, Dr. Inf Decker. Infectious doctor. He has an infection. Aw, oh, too bad. He needs some antibiotics. We're going to, yeah, give him some Claritin. So, oh, I see what you did there. All right. Uh, That's a Jonas joke. We should. <laughs> Was it? Cheesy, we should, dude, daddy. We should ask her if she was the one to write death threats on Dr. Decker's missing Maxi prescription pad. pad. Oh. I've already told you. I never saw his prescription pad, so of course I didn't write any death threats. It sounds like someone is trying to frame me. Who's trying to frame me, doctor? No one, you crazy person. Why would you say that? You just killed your husband twice. What if I don't think you're insane? Why would Decker want to kill David? Yeah, why would Decker want to yeah, kill David? Yeah, why would he? Yes. Dr. Decker threatened to kill David. That terrified me at the time. Because I hadn't killed him myself I still myself had hope yet. that David would recover. Hmm. What if I don't think you're insane? I mean, we don't. I kind of do. <laughs> I, kinda I mean, do. but yeah, let's see what she says. All right, fine. Doctor... Did I tell you about that time that I used the power of my mind to bring my husband back to life? I can't imagine what I'd do to the psychiatrist that double-crossed me. But I'm sure it would be fun. Oh, she just threatened For us. Me, at least. Her neck looks weird. But she just threatened us. She literally just threatened us. Yeah. All right, well, it would be very funny if you could reanimate us from jail. Yeah. Let's see if you can do it from there. Jaya now. said she had some information about uh, Mariana. All right. I'm kind of upset that we haven't seen the blonde girl, the leech lady, or Glenn since. Ever again. Yeah, and the guy yeah. we killed by accident. Because we only have, like, the usual suspects this time. Yeah, dude. Like, that right. was kind of weird. It but was weird. She said she had info. I mean, and of course, she's my girl, so you know. Absolutely. Uh, what's the news about Mariana, Jaya? Poor Mariana. Dr. Decker must have been serious about getting his money back. Well, yeah. I've had a response from the small claims court. Is that motive enough, doctor? I'm sorry, what? Oh, what he happened? sued her because she didn't pay him the money, dude. Uh, Non-repayment, Mariana. We received confirmation from the small claims court for your application to proceed with debt collection. As long as his address is correct, you should receive a similar letter from small claims on how you're pursuing debt. Does not be recovered. Uh, there'll be time for a hearing. All right. Um, fair enough. So he's suing her. I mean, they had a contract and she didn't pay. Yeah, but, you know, I thought they were an item. I mean, just because she... Never mind. Yeah, we don't know what Mariana was doing. I mean, they, they coited. <laughs> we have no proof of that, but it can be inferred. Yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. Uh, how are you coming with the grief? You said. Dr. Yeah, let's talk about Dr. Decker again. All I right. Guess. Let's, let's talk about the missing pad. Dr. Decker's prescription pad is still missing. I'll let you know if it turns up. All right. Mm. I'll let you know if something turns up. <laughs> I guess we can just ask her uh, how oh. she is today. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you today, Jaya? I'm worried about you, Doctor. Oh, you I'm seem worried about you too. quiet. And, well,. It's just your fingerprints on the bottle. Maybe you touched it by accident? You didn't know him, did you? Oh, now they're trying to say that we killed Dr. Decker? Oh, come on. I just got here. Jaya, I'm worried that your shirt is too warm. You should... Yes, I knew Decker. No, I didn't know Decker. No, I didn't Decker. know Decker. Get why the hell out of here. Yeah, why would I say that? Then why are your fingerprints on his vodka bottle? No, no, don't answer that. Oh. The infectious madness of Dr. Decker. Who hasn't it touched? Oh, it's not just a funny name. I'm so worried. Nah, she said the thing, Jonas. She, she said that's like the title track. Yeah, she said the name of the thing. She's like, oh, I did it. Oh, boy. All right, uh, tell me about... She just told us why she was worried about us. But anyways. Yeah, no, I still want to know why you're worried. You just seem a little different from the person who turned up all those weeks ago. It's been five days. You don't talk to me as much as you did. I'll talk to you, You girl. flitter between patients in a daydream. Tell me what things are bothering you. Oh, man. I really just want to lay down with you. <laughs> you keep telling me no, Jaya. All right, so she said we've been here for weeks. The bottle has been in the desk for weeks 
But why wouldn't the cops have taken his vodka? That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, like maybe we got thirsty. We're that's, like, well, if it's vodka, let's take a little swig. Jaya, you ain't you ain't giving me no play, girl. The thing so. is that it's, it's plausible that our fingerprints over that time could have ended up on a bottle. Yeah, and it's, Jaya thinks we're going insane. Sounds like uh, I'm going insane or something. No, I don't think so. All right. Uh, Do you think I'm going insane, Jaya? Say it like who that. Who measures sanity or insanity? One man's philosopher is another man's fool. I'm keeping an eye on you. I won't let you go crazy. I like the way you think. You keep an eye on me all you want. I'm being very insinuous. Are you? I just want to... I'm kind of um, used to it. <laughs> I mean, just with her though, she's cute. Uh, she she is she's a little you know she's Vixen. attractive. She's an attractive young lady, I yeah, guess. Yeah, she talks all smart, dude. <laughs> How are you coping with the grief? Or tell me about the death threats. Yeah, do I it. didn't know anything about that. Yeah, bull crap. If I have any grievances with my employer, I spit in their coffee. I hope that's how you like it. Funny. Wow, that was funny. Very she funny. hopes that yeah, she can spit somewhere. She can spit in my. No, I thought you were gonna say you could spit in my coffee. <laughs> no, no, she can spit on something before. It, yeah, you know, get it ready. How are you coping with the grief? Did you have any grievances with Decca? Don't become like Doctor Decca. I think that somebody killed him because he was using them. There's some footage. I can't show you because it would affect you too much. What? No. Suffice to say. When Mariana told him she could breathe underwater, he wanted the same power for himself. So instead of trying to cure her of it, he'd try and amplify it to see how it worked so he could imagine it for himself. Yeah. I think he did that with all his special patients. I think he wanted all of their powers. I mean. If you believe in that sort of thing. So they're trying to, like, huh. cuck us and make us, like, question whether they have powers or not. Like, I wonder, like, I did, I'm curious how this is going to wrap up. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I'm more curious about that than anything, because I'm like, how is this going to have an ending? I kind of want to, like, I'm honestly feeling like Dr. Decker may actually be the Cthulhu thing that uh, Mariana's feeding. I could see that being the end game. That's uh, just a speculation. Yeah, right? I mean, uh, Jaya is Dr. Decker. Oh my god, that would be great, right? <laughs> um, who, who were the, the special, special patients? Okay, yeah, let's talk about I that. I also want to know about that footage she can't show us. Like, why yeah. can't she show us? Yeah, well, any patient who presented with psychokinetic issues, they were his special patients. Aww. Towards the end, he began ignoring all the other cases. Most of the patients saw it as a curse, what they were experiencing, what they were unwittingly doing. Dr. Decker saw it as an ability, a power to be harnessed and used for, well, God knows what he was going to use it all for. So we made them give in to it, and it consumed them, consumed all of them. Whether you believe any of that or not is your choice, but they did, which made them angry. And that's why I think he was murdered by a patient. So he, like, played him. Sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like he, he was trying to suck all their juices, man. Yeah, Get all he the herbs was, and he spices. was uh, power teating himself to death and ended up getting teated on. Yeah. How are you coping with your grief? Yeah, I want to see how her grief's doing. I think I'm okay with the grief now. My mother died suddenly, and I think I was projecting Dr. Decker's death to be about her. I know they're not related. That sucks. Sorry about your mom or whatever. How'd your mom die? Let's therapize you. My mother died suddenly, like Dr. Decker. For her, I mean, though, it was different. She I would hope so. She burst into oh. flames. I was seven. They said she must have been smoking and drinking on the sofa, but she doesn't smoke or drink. Spontaneous Professor combustion. Professor Alderby said it was spontaneous combustion. Yep. I doubt it. Maybe Jaya has uh, pyrokinesis. Right? Yeah. All right. Who do you think murdered De Decker? Do you, do you think Cthulhu is real? I'm asking that one first. Yeah, let's go Cthulhu, uh, dude. All right. I... A fictional space god that's resting at the bottom of the Atlantic. It's not likely, is it? Or maybe you think it is. Have you spoke to Mariana today? How do you know that she's in there with the dude? Yeah, I know. Where'd you, where'd you make that connection? Yeah, right. Oh, okay. I can't even move on from that. All right. 
Um, who do you think? Yeah, who do you think killed him? It's not your job to find out who the murderer is. It's the police. That's facts. You can only point them in the right direction. Murder is a means to an end. There's a lot more going on here you should be thinking about. Like if Mariana's going to take me home? <laughs> take me home tonight. Show up in my dream again. Like I'm not you did, sure. Raya. I'm not sure the patients are improving. Your patience will always be a bother, but you're caring for people. Yeah. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? A little bit. In a few weeks' time, there'll be a whole new bunch of faces with a whole new bunch of quirks. Let's not have a whole new Doctor, shall we? <laughs> okay. Oh, Jaya. Shall we? All right. All Thanks, right. Jaya. <clears throat> All right. That. Well, uh, we don't have a lot of time, so yeah, we'll go get started on somebody new. For Get a little... A little pokey poke. All right, let's see. let's should we just go straight to Mariana? I kinda, God, she looks like she's dying. I know, right? She's curled in a ball. She's sirened up into the sea. I want to tell her about herself because we're supposed to tell her about what we saw in her dream. Tell me about being followed. How are I, your dreams? Yeah, we should say that. I don't dream, Doctor. I haven't dreamed for years now. Dreamt. He's like, I'm not good at English, <laughs> doctor. You're lying about not dreaming. Yeah. Yeah. I did say that was a dream, didn't I? Is it easier to swallow knowing it's the truth? I don't know. You tell me if it's so she, So she lies and then says, yeah, I was lying. Yeah. She's lying all the time, but yeah. she does it. Even then, she did it very convincingly without throwing sex in her face, but still. What's the truth? What's the truth? The truth is, I'm not like you, Doctor. Or anyone else. I can swim to the bottom of the ocean for hours. She's a mermaid siren. And people follow me. And they get eaten by Cthulhu. Even if it's the last thing they do. Yeah, so she uses her sexy body to lure him into the ocean. Well, I mean, they follow her around like zombies. She even said that we came to her door, so I, I don't know if she really has control over it even still. Yeah, maybe we did go to her door. Yeah, very, very possibly. My thing is that she seems like she knows all of this information. We were supposed to confront her about it, but she's just telling it like yeah oh know. yeah well we'll find out more about it on the next one so oh god Dude, yeah that's all time we have today's episode storyline is really good jonas sorry it's yeah really good. it is i like it yeah uh please make sure to go and subscribe and uh for jonas uh, we out